So You Can Play That Game is proudly sponsored by NiceGameShop.com, the place to go for rare and unusual Asian games. Hi, I'm Michael. If you take a seat, I'll tell you all about Wibble Plus Plus by Stuff by Bez. So, this isn't a game per se, it's a game system. You see, Wibble is a game, and that's why it's called Wibble Plus Plus, because it's Wibble plus other games. And so, to review this, we kind of have to first review it as a game system, and then review some of the games that there already are to play. The box comes, and it is a tiny little pocket-sized box, which is very helpful, with five games in there. And there's going to be a lot of support for this game going forward. Um, I know, you know, Bez has plans to release at least one game on Bez Day, which is 1st of August, every year that will go up on the website. So there'll always be new content coming out for this, which is really good for a game system. Now, as a game system, what this actually is, how it works, is it is a pack of cards. But these aren't your typical playing cards. There are a few features on these cards. Firstly, they have two letters, the top letter and the bottom letter. The top letters are more common on the cards. The bottom letters are rarer. There's also a number on the bottom of the card, and this tells you how many cards have that letter on, so you know just how rare that bottom letter is. The other feature is the border, and there are different borders on different cards. Each border has eight cards with that border. So that is what the system is. What are the games then? Well, we'll start by looking at the title game, Wibble. And I think this is probably my favorite of the games, to be honest, as well. The way this game works is you lay out two cards in the middle of the table. Everyone then has to try and be the first to come up with a word that uses a letter off of each of those cards. Nice and simple. You can use as many other letters as you want, of course, as well. You're not restricted just to what's on these cards, otherwise that would be rather difficult. Then having come up with a word and shouted out and been the first, you get to take a card and it sits in front of you. And then a new card comes out and you repeat. But this time you have a slight hindrance because of this card in front of you. You have to include this card as well, one of the letters from this. So it's slightly harder the more cards you have. And as time goes on, people get more and more cards and eventually someone gets their fourth card in front of them and then they take the final card as well and that means they have five points and then you keep playing this until the deck runs out whoever has the most points wins the game so that is wibble it's fun it's creativity with regards to the words of thinking of words but it's not difficult it's not a case of Oh, whoever knows the biggest words will win. It's more about your speed of integrating those letters. It's very much a word game, but using a different mindset. More the mindset that you would use for, say... It's about your speed of thinking rather than just being the smartest person. It also means that depending on what letters are there, different people will do better or worse in different rounds. You tend not to get so much a clear winner. But if you are, you just give them a handicap. Here you go, here's a couple more cards, they don't score you points, you've got to integrate those as well. That works really nicely because, you know, if you do have someone who's just slightly better, you can just give them that handicap, it balances the game again, and you can continue to have fun with it. So that is the first game that comes in the box, Wibble. Let's move on to Grabble. This is very much a pattern recognition game. Again, it's very much about speed as well and speed of recognition. You see, you each start with a card and all the other cards are in a pile in the middle of the table and you need to take a card that matches something on your card. It can match number, it can match border, it can match one of the letters. And you're trying to just grab the cards as quickly as you can 
and whoever has the most right at the end of the game wins with negatives counting against them. So that is Grabble, a quick kind of dexterity almost game. Then we have Phrasal. This game is all about making up phrases from cards. So someone will come up with a word and then people will have cards and you've got to make up a phrase associated to that word using the letters from the cards that have been dealt. So it's very much just uh, kind of having fun with the creativity side of wordplay rather than actually kind of really much of a game to my mind. Um, but there are definitely people who will love this. I think people who like uh, Rory's Story Cubes, things like that, this is the kind of game that will appeal to them, this phrasal. But that's the good thing about Wibble Plus Plus. It's a game system. It has games that will appeal to lots of different people, and you can come up with games that will appeal to different people. Next is Fable. This is a storytelling game. It is almost the same as Rory Story Cubes, but using the cards as your basis. Again, you know, not my cup of tea, but there are definitely people who will love that. And finally, that leaves us with Alphabetical. This is probably the most gamery of the games, but it's still not that heavy. The way this works is you'll be dealt cards, you'll pick a card, and that's your card in front of you. Then the dealer will reveal a card, the person to their left, can choose to take this card and what you're trying to do is create the alphabet or at least 11 cards from the alphabet. You're allowed to skip letters but you're not allowed to rearrange your cards and you need them to go A, B, C. You can change which letter you're using from a card so having versatility with that and which letters you take can be a big deal. I think with this game particularly I prefer playing it two player because the way it works with two player is if you pick a card up then it's you to get first refusal again and so as long as you keep picking you keep control and that works really nicely to mean that you maybe push a little far skip a few too many cards and end up in a bit of a problem because you don't want to give up that control and then let the other player have all the control because you're trying to score as many points as you can and ideally be the first to get to 11 cards and then you play several rounds of that the issue with when you're playing with more players is that the way it works with regards to i've taken a card the person to my left is the dealer the person to their left then is the one picking card, especially if you're playing four player, can mean that the dealer is always being skipped with regards to being able to take cards. So that can mean that people are sat left out, not really playing. But as a whole, wet Wibble plus plus, obviously there are five games just in the box. There is more online. There's gonna be more released each year. I think this is a really, really nice little addition. It's inexpensive, portable, and yeah, it, I think it just makes a nice, fun party game because the games are fairly simple, easy to teach, easy to play, and yeah, so if you're after kind of a word game, but without the weighty, thinky, heavy feeling of a word game and more of a party feel word game, then that is what Wibble++ can give you. If you're after storytelling, it can give you that. You know, there are lots of different games you can come up with. I mean, let's just have a look at these cards. They've got numbers on. So you could do a set collection game where you've got to collect sets of numbers or sets of borders. How are you doing that? Well, maybe you do a draft. You know, there's lots of different options for how you could do this. And you could also do like um, one of those ascending games like uh, the Great Dalmuti, but you're doing it with the letters. And so you're going, right, three A's, two A's, and you're trying to be the first to get rid of your cards. And if you can't go, oh, I've got to pick up. So yeah, there's just so many options and versatility that this provides and it's going to get exploited. I, well, I say exploited. <laughs> that, that opportunity for games and variation of games, it, it's, they are going to be created either by you, by someone else, by Bez, you know, and then it, people can share it and there'll be a whole community built up 
about Wibble in the same way that a normal deck of playing cards has. And so, yeah, I think Wibble by stuff, pl Wibble plus plus by stuff by bears is a big thumbs up from me. Um, I, as I say, I particularly enjoy Wibble. Not great at two player, but does work okay at two player. But alphabetical, very good fun at two player. Lovely versatility. I mean, with regards to artwork, um, it, it's not my style of taste with this artwork, but you know, it's interesting, it's different, and it's inoffensive. And graphic design wise, it's all very clear, all very easy to understand. The borders are very different and obviously different. There's no risk of mixing those up. With regards to the player numbers, as I say, it depends on the game that you're playing. It really can be hugely versatile. It's inexpensive. Yeah, just check out Wibble Plus Plus by Stuff by Bez. And I do hope you found this video useful. If you have, please do check out the rest of the videos on the channel as well as subscribing and sharing. And as always, thanks for watching and bye for now.